praise the lord papa thank you so much we bless you our lord and our god papa we give you all the glory you have given us opportunity the chance to call you abba father that is why we say papa papa we bless you so much we love you so much our darling father you love us we also love you we pray that you help us oh god to love you till the end thank you jesus we stand up for you we salute you we give you all the glory we pray also that you have your way father you have your way in our meeting today too please speak to us help us understand you better and forgive us of any iniquity father so that we'll be right before you that will be holy that whatever we do oh god will be acceptable unto you thank you jesus papa we pray that you teach us today too in jesus mighty name hallelujah brethren in the lord i welcome you to the program how do you understand the word of god i am the handmaid of the lord evangelist mrs jacqueline Enim. that the lord through me is bringing his word to all of us we'll take a devotional reading today from luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37. one day an expert in religious law stood up to test jesus by asking him this question teacher what should i do to inherit eternal life Jesus replied, What does the law of Moses say? How do you read it? The man answered, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Rise, Jesus told him, Do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify his actions, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Other four, Um, any Ma huo den eni ma juni ni na na midro mi yonko se me hon. Ena yesu kan se ampa wakani ye. Uye we ya ubeti na se. Na papa ni baye mani bisa ni se. Eh eni huwain eni minu ya. Huwain eni mineba na se huwain ena ebe kaso obe emye. Na yesu eka the good samaritan samaritan ni papa no asam samaria ni na okotu se ya buju ni bi da kwan chen na ya kind story na e be hu se osofo be twe mu ne katkesi be twe mu na samaria ni ni momo a ono nye ju ni no o twe mu no ohu se akom kafo abo ju ni e prepra no a oye wi o de ne ne na eh ne ponko anase ebeka se ai ne ponko eben no no pegia no to so e de ne kwa yarsa bia e ma ye je no to o kan se e ke bia e wo ho bia mitua e bi beda so nso me ba mitua yesu bi sai se sankrofo nyina hwan e na ye sa kwa e pape ya bu ni e ye na danfa na se e ye nnua all that I'm saying is that when he asked jesus who is my neighbor Jesus replied him by giving him the story of the Good Samaritan. And we all remember that this man that was being hurt or that had been beaten was a Jew. He was half dead. And a Jewish priest came along. A, a Jewish attendant also in the chapel, in the temple also came along. They all took their way. But this Samaritan was someone 
because Jews did not like Samar Samaritans. They did not like people from Samaria. They were their enemies. But this Samaritan man went to this half dead Jew who had been beaten and took him on his own horse and then took him or a donkey and took him to the inn. Those days, that was where they looked after them, just like taking the person to a hospital. He paid all his debts and then he told the innkeeper that any, any, um, any, any amount that comes or any bill that comes after what he had paid, he will pay. First of all, we see that from verse, um, the verse number 34, it says that going over to him, the Samaritan sewed his wounds with olive oil and wine and banished them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn where he took care of him. And so we see that this man, first of all, dressed the wounds, gave this man first aid before taking the man to an inn. Hallelujah. Other fonts you want to say, Samaritan, or didn't kind a day a draw any a mo a go go a procremo a sa a a do jo a cronano and son of the neco bia. Obeti me a coda and also so no, or be home na when ya na yarisa. No, see be be a bebe chebia, can be a bebe chebia, me boss a canoe into the ashano mammy. He he came out of himself, he gave his all. He surrendered his all because that place would, uh, was a risky place to be. Somewhere, that a place that they've been able to beat someone almost to death. It means that it is a place that people, wicked people, stay. And anything at all could have happened to this Samaritan man. But he did not care. He cared about the wounded man. Other four. A hono more cream come for and a baboon one a bassa. Into beer ya no or shun we crane ya bea. A ye hm. Nan so one yuni near betono or june near said the anapa panty bea papa no woman. Into yan so so. Said the sifa a a a a betting yan juno be hono. A bea nanny pan no way to it. Ya ten a honsam when you so me a tea a crobby honsam at yen a ya 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 fan hum. Yam pie bo. And with the be being to me in sin of quiet, young pipe obey to me to be beer to young chamwissy, young pipe obey to me to be beer or being huraman. Yea, what are we also doing to save someone? We may not be able to go to where the person is, but we can pray for the person. At times, we can even send money, brethren in the Lord. The Lord can use us in diverse ways, but we need to sacrifice. This man sacrificed. Because the word, the work of God is a sacrificial one. Jesus himself offered himself. Jesus offered himself as a sacrifice. And he says that we should also present ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. Things that will draw us closer to our God is what we should ask the Spirit of God to lead us to do. And Nyamaya ye be be rajano and sesia senya men kron kron so mwaye ni yentiminye. On your men don't boy, you know, can you home? Now say yes, so I'm my and now you be sure, China. I will lie in so. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Evangelist, Mrs. Jacqueline Enning. The Lord has spoken to us. What is our response? Let's surrender our lives unto Him and ask Him to give us the strength to also sacrifice our lives for our brethren, our children, our marriages. And for anyone who comes away, God richly bless you and have a fruitful day. Bye bye.